Hello. Today I'm going to be ironing some of my clothes and I thought I would do a little video to show you how I iron my clothes. First we have a skirt. It's a light khaki colored skirt. Kind of a, a nice beige color. We have a darker brown skirt and the matching belt which I'm also going to iron. And finally, we have a blue sweater. And the problem with the sweater is that every time I wash it, the, um, the band around the neck folds over like this. And um, we're going to iron that flat. So we'll start with the sweater. I'll put the skirts aside for now. And the first thing I do turned on my iron and have it set to the proper setting for these items. I'd like to add some water to the iron for the steam. So what I have is just a little cup. It's like a little medicine cup and I, I filled it with water. I'm going to open the iron, open this little door, then turn it down and carefully pour the water inside. Close the door. Now, I'm going to go to the bottom side of the sweater, right here, open it up, and I'm going to thread it through this part of the ironing board so I can reach the areas that I need to reach. I'm going to flatten it out take this creased part and lay it flat, like that. I take my iron and run it over nice and easy to flatten it out. I'm going to do it one section at a time. Nice and warm. I'm going to move it over to the next section and make sure that it's nice and flat before I begin. And the rest of it I'm not going to worry about. It's not really wrinkled. I just want to get this part. And when you iron, you might notice that your, your item uh, changes color slightly, it might look a little a little lighter, but that will go away after it cools off. I'm going to take it off, and we're going to do the very back. You can either thread it back through this part, just on the back side, or you can just lay it flat on the ironing board, it doesn't matter. Just whichever way you prefer, I'm just going to do it like this. I'm going to take my fingers and spread it out nice and flat and make sure that it stays that way before I place the iron and I'm going to watch it to make sure that it doesn't curl back under as I go across check it to make sure that it's flat. I'll smooth it out gently with my fingers. And if you see any problem areas, you can come back and take care of that as you lay it flat. You can do the entire process this way if you wish. There really are no rules. And now what I do 
after it's done, before it cools off. I'm going to turn it over like that, stretch it out. I'm going to take the sleeves and fold them in just a little bit like that and straighten them out. I'm going to take the other sleeve and do the same. Just crossing them across the back. And then you take a side and you fold it in. Smooth it out. Making sure that this part stays flat. And then you do the other side the same way. You make sure that the ends meet like they're supposed to. You fold it like that and smooth it again. And then you can turn it over and you end up with a nice, neat sweater that is ready to be worn. It's nice and even on the sides. And you can adjust it if you need to. take the light khaki sweater, I'm oh, sorry, skirt, <laughs> and you can see that it's, it's pretty wrinkled. It's pretty bad. Every time I wash it, it comes out like this, no matter what I do. So we're going to do the same basic thing where we thread it through this part right here. We're going to open it up and thread it through. So we have one section flat on the board and smooth it with our hands before we begin ironing. And then we begin. making sure that the cord doesn't grab the skirt and wrinkle it on the side. You can even come up here and pull it a little bit to straighten it out a little as you go. And you can also do the same down here. You can pull it back a little bit and that keeps it from bunching up at the seams. After you've done that section, you just pick it up and it might um, stick to the board a little bit. You just lift it off and you move it forward to the next section. The skirt does not have pockets, which makes it a little easier because you don't have a little bunched up part right here. But there is a bit of a pucker here. So we have to keep that in mind as we go. Just lift it up a little bit off the board right here. And we just keep moving. not quite right. I'm going to do that again. And picking it up here, I find, really helps. And then we move to the next section, and we just keep going around and around until it's all done. Make 
extra, hold the cord right here, hold it off the skirt. And make it nice and smooth. Come to the top, right under the waistband right here. I don't worry so much about the waistband because it typically doesn't show when I wear this skirt. And it's always going to look a little, a little messed up, but that's okay because it doesn't show when I'm wearing it. is pretty rough. <laughs> See, we have two seams here. We have this seam and this seam. So we have to be careful with this when you have two seams so close together because the fabric will try to pucker around the seams. So what I do, I go on one side of the seam, just run along the side, and then I kind of overlap it a little bit and pull and iron. Pulling it up really helps. I'm going to adjust it. Flatten it out again. And keep going. feel of the skirt changes as you iron it. It feels very firm but flexible and just feels so nice and smooth. Ironing the skirt really transforms it and makes it look so much better. And I really love the way it looks after I iron it. And every time I wash it I will iron it because I don't like I don't like wrinkly clothes. I don't want to go to work looking messy. And sometimes when you iron a seam, you will end up with something like this, where it's uh, not wrinkled like it was, but it's still wrinkled, and you just have to keep working with it until you get it the way you want it. You don't really have to press down hard. That's not necessary. I'm going to bring it to the very, very end, the very edge. Right there. And we're going to iron it again. about as good as it's going to get. <laughs> you just look over it one more time to make sure you got everything. Sometimes you might miss a section as you go. You take it off the board. And this is the back with the zipper. Straighten it. And what I will do is I will hang this immediately I will hang the skirt and put it in the closet to make sure it's not going to get wrinkled again in there. So here's the nice, neatly ironed. I mean, it's it's not perfect, but you you know when you wear it, it's going to wrinkle up a little bit anyway. A nice, neatly ironed skirt. Well, relatively. 
respectfully speaking, it's, it's neater now than it was. <laughs> it's not perfect, but it's good enough. Okay, next we're gonna do this belt. It's a fabric belt. And when I wear it, um, it gets creases in it and wrinkles up a bit. These are very simple, very easy. You can iron one side or both. You can do one and then do the other side. It's up to you. And you just run across it, making sure to keep it straight and flat. Do one section. I'm going to move it up, stretch it across the entire length of the board. It's pretty long. It's made to tie at the waist and then hang down a bit on the side of the skirt. And this is a gap skirt that I got at Goodwill for $3.79. I really love it. I haven't had it very long, but I really like it. I wear it with um, a nice sweater or maybe um, a light colored shirt uh, with a, a brown cardigan over it or maybe a burnt orange colored cardigan and it looks perfect for fall. It's just beautiful. And it came with the belt. And it will have little tiny puckers along here. And there's not a lot I can do about that. I just want it to look a little neater and not be so wrinkled up because if you leave it wrinkled up like that when you put it through the belt loops on the skirt it just looks it looks messy to me so I'm going to turn it over and flatten it out again I didn't wear skirts much for years I mostly wore pants slacks to work but I don't know every now and then I just like a change and um, I'll go for something a little different so I decided to go to skirts occasionally I still wear slacks and pants but I like to wear skirts too and in the summer I wear a lot of dresses to me it's just easier you don't really have to put together and you know an outfit or anything you just grab the dress and put it on and maybe some jewelry to go with it and you're ready to go the work is already done so now we have this nice long fabric belt and it's nice and flat and smooth I'm going to set that over to the side. And now we're going to do the skirt. Which it looks like, if you look at it from the back, it actually looks like a pair of pants. <laughs> the way it's made. But it's actually a very cute skirt. It also kind of reminds me of a trench coat with the pocket, at uh, the buttons. And the pockets on the side. And it's a flared skirt. It's kind of, kind of a wide skirt. You can unbutton it if you like, or you can leave it buttoned. It doesn't matter. But I think we will actually... Oh, you know what? <laughs> I haven't had this skirt very long. I haven't really looked at it. It looks like um, this, is, this will be the first time I've ever ironed it. I've only worn it one time. Um, I'm... I think we'll leave it the way it is, because I actually don't think you can unbutton the skirt. <laughs> well, never mind then. But if you do have a skirt that buttons up, you can unbutton it to iron it. It might make it a little easier. So I'm going to start with the hardest part, which will be this part, where it all comes together. You have to make sure that the underside is flat, nice and smooth. You don't want to have a little wrinkle in there. So you run your fingers and your hands over it to make sure it feels flat. And it feels pretty good. I'm going to have to pull it here. There's a little place right here. I'll pull it. 
to try to iron it flat. And again, it's not going to be perfect, but it will look a lot better than it does with all these wrinkles. It's going to be a little difficult to do this part. I'm not really sure how I'm going to do it. <laughs> I may just have to do the best I can. You don't want the iron to sit on the buttons. It can melt the buttons depending on what they're made of. And again, it's not it's not perfect, but It is an improvement. <laughs> you make sure that the under piece stays flat on the edge of the board and you smooth it again. Looks like it's got a little spot there, but that's okay. It wasn't wrinkled at all when I bought it. I think it was brand new. But then I washed it and it got wrinkled up on me. I found a lot of clothes at the thrift store that are brand new. I still have the tags on them. And we have a little pocket on the side. Every time you move it, you smooth it. And this skirt has pockets. So I'm gonna put my hand inside the pocket to straighten out the, um, the lining of the pocket, make it nice and, and straight. So I'm not ironing a wrinkle into the pocket, into the lining of the pocket. can see, hopefully you can see the difference between what I just ironed and what hasn't been ironed yet. This one actually isn't too wrinkled. Uh, some items, depending on what they're made out of, seem to wrinkle really bad every time you wash them. And it also has a back pocket, so you want to make sure that the back pocket is flat. And this one does appear to be flat. And you can again, you can pull it up, just grab it by the corner, by the top and pull a little bit as you go. Now I'll check this pocket. It feels pretty good. You can actually reach up under here if you want and pull it down and make sure it's flat. With items like this, I don't typically use the pockets, especially the back pockets, because that's, to me, the more you use it, the more wrinkly it seems to get after you wash them. I like to keep them nice and smooth and flat so they don't look baggy and messy. I don't really care for messy. I want to look put together and nice. And one thing I learned, my um, one of my one of my sons went to a charter school, and um, they were very particular about the uniforms and the appearance of the children's uniforms. And they would like the pants ironed, the shirts pressed, and nice and neat. And um, and one of the reasons they did that was because they said that the appearance of your clothing and the care that you put into them and the way you present yourself to the world has an effect on your uh, 
self-esteem or your self-confidence or your own image of yourself. And if you don't take care to look nice, and it doesn't have to be expensive, just, you know, do something like this. Just ironing your clothes and presenting yourself, you know, in a put-together, neat manner can boost your self-confidence and you feel better about things. You know, if, a, if you're if you're if you dress sloppy all the time, it can actually affect your frame of mind and make the way you live your life a little more sloppy. That's just a theory, but that really stuck with me after I had that meeting before my son started at the school, and and I really thought about it, and I thought, you know, I think that's true. I think if you want to feel good about yourself and your abilities and your endeavors in life, I think you should take care to take a few extra minutes and make yourself look neat. I'm not talking about expensive clothing or anything, just, you know, the neatness of your, of the way you wear your clothes. You know, don't go out of the house looking like you just rolled out of bed. And I always made sure that my son had nice pressed, nice, you know, neat clothes. That his uniform was always fresh and fit well and looked good. And I do think it affects the way they perceive themselves. And I taught my son how to do these things. To iron and take care of his clothes. And that is a skill that he can use the rest of his life. So since we can't really get to this part, um, I'm going to have to leave it as it is. But I believe we got the rest. And here we have my little trench coat looking skirt. <laughs> And it's not perfect, but it's better. You know, I would wear this. So I will take this one. And I will thread the belt through the belt loops. And I'm going to make sure that it comes over to this side and has enough to hang down. So you can tie it on the side. So we're going to come to one end, and we're going to thread it through nice and straight. And pull it like this until you get enough to kind of hang down. we bring it around to the underside, to the back side. Actually, we can turn our iron off. That's loud. You know what? I'll do that later. <laughs> okay, sorry. I forgot it was so noisy. So, it's not twisted. It's straight. Keep it from folding over. Keep it flat. But you don't have to buy expensive clothes to look nice. You don't have to have certain brands or shop in certain stores to look nice. I buy most of my clothes at thrift stores and I don't spend much at all. I can put together an entire outfit for less than $20 and look great. Now I don't know that I want to tie these right now, not really. I'm just going to take these two pieces here and they're not the same length, but that's okay. I'm going to take one, fold it over, bring it under, and lightly drape it over like that. So that it stays this way. And when I'm ready to wear it, I will tie it up. But even then, I probably won't tie it very tight. Just enough to keep it together so it can hang down on the side. 
and it's I think it's a very cute skirt so we have this skirt and this skirt like that and we have the sweater and they are ready to go and ready for me. I hope you enjoyed my video and I really appreciate you watching and I hope you have a wonderful day.